This is my 2014 Gibson SG. And today I'm going to replace the original Cluson tuners with these Cluson Revolution locking tuners with a 19 to 1 gear ratio. Um, this isn't so much a, a tutorial on how to replace the tuners because it's kind of simple process. Just remove the collars and washers. Uh, and there's two screws on the back. You can even use the same screws from your old tuners on your new tuners. Same thing, they fit Cluson, they're both Cluson, so it makes it easy to, to do that. Doing this as part of a whole project to get this Gibson playable, because when I first got it, I mean, I've always liked Gibson SGs, so I finally bought one, and then when it arrived, I guess it hadn't been set up, it was still in the box, but the neck was bowed, uh, action was high, and the main problem was, I think other people have had the same problem, is that it just wouldn't stay in tune. That G-string would hang in the nut. Um, so the first thing, after doing some research, is I realized I needed to have the nut replaced. And I've never done that before. I've watched some videos on YouTube. It seems easy enough, but I didn't want to have to score uh, with an X-Acto knife along this shiny black uh, Gibson and, and mess it up. So I brought it down to Buck Dancer's Choice here in Portland, Maine. And I think Brad did it, and you couldn't even tell. It looked brand new still when I got it back, and it stayed in tune. Solved the problem right away. I could not believe it. I think it was at a, a Graftech Tusk XL nut. I think they have a Gibson nut, so that's the one I got. Uh, they have white and, white and black, so I got the white one just to replace one that was there. And then, in the meantime, I had to order these tuners. Um, so this is kind of like the last part of my job to kind of keep this thing all in tune. So I'm top wrapping the tailpiece today, as well as replacing the Cluson tuners. Um, the tailpiece itself, if you see in the video, it's kind of high, and it could have even been higher to keep those strings off the back of the bridge. Um, that's, a, I guess, like best practice to have your strings so they don't, don't touch the bridge. And slamming the tailpiece helps sustain, I guess. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it, just to help the overall playability of the guitar and, and tuning stability and overall health of the Gibson SG so and then since then it's been a few days since I've done this just kind of putting the video together now is that the guitar stays in tune I can't believe it oh and save those eyelets see those eyelets I'm cutting from the old strings when you top wrap you want to stick your string through that little eyelet before you put the string through the tailpiece that keeps it from the rough end of the string coming back out of the tailpiece and kind of cutting your hand. So that actually helps. I saw that on a couple of different videos. Um, so that really has worked out well. And I couldn't be happier. I mean, this is kind of the guitar setup I wanted. It was a big change from when I first got it. And I had bought other guitars since then, so this had kind of stayed in its case. But I'm, it was always in the back of my head to fix up this Gibson. Uh, so make it playable and have it stay in tune and make it enjoyable to play. And since then, I've been I've been put it down. It's kind of fun. Uh, it feels like a brand new guitar, and there they are, all installed. They look pretty nice. Um, they're not really heavy. There's no like neck dive. Um, and then slamming the tailpiece down, it's it's mine. Just finger tighten, easy enough to bring it all the way down. Some people say keep it a you know a hundredth of a, an inch off the, the body, but I just put it down as low as it went. Um, it's fine. And there we go, let's put the string in from the opposite side of the tailpiece. Don't forget to thread your string through the eyelet. And, uh, the locking tuners are easy enough to restring. I don't need to show you that part. I'm sure you all know how to restring a guitar. I think it looks kind of cool too. Not only is it uh, beneficial, it kind of looks cool. So, super happy. The guitar stays in tune some new tuners and brand new SG.